we started our public art initiatives back in the 1980s, we were focused on permanent artwork acquisitions. But we also realized that there's a lot of benefit in bringing new temporary pop-up exhibitions to the waterfront. So there's always something new to see. Our waterfront extends through five cities. So San Diego, Coronado, Chula Vista, National City, and Imperial Beach. So our Port Spaces program allows the artists to select those locations that make sense for their site-specific artworks. Unlike a site-driven master plan, where you tell an artist that the artwork needs to go here, we actually do it in reverse. And the artist can basically build their concept in direct relationship to the site. As a large part of my practice has been transforming existing objects or found spaces. In looking at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal, you start thinking about what is the terminal really about? It's about transportation of items, it's about storage of items, and you look at these tanks which are once held molasses, thousands, hundreds of thousands of gallons, but there are these great containers and they really kind of are emblematic of the terminal. In looking at material, in this case fiber, it was particularly relevant, I think, to this project because it, it really was developed to use in marine applications. So there's a connection there kind of with this maritime environment. The National City Marine Terminal is a big parking lot. There's no real vertical structure. It's just a flat plane with a lot of cars on it. And we're taking this employee van and we're gonna wrap it with the same material, but instead of me and my crew, this van is gonna be taken out into the community and wrapped by community members and then brought back to the terminal where it can be viewed from Pepper Park. So the, the title is Sojourner, you know, a person that's passing through that's not from that place, that's not gonna be a part of that place. And it has to do with this location, the fact that the cruise ships are coming in, people are leaving for an extended, separate period of time coming back. That's where it came. It, it just came from that idea of passing through. The materials were, they seem pretty basic. Box truss structure, that gives you the, the possibility of doing a structure like this outside that's temporary. The mirrors, you've got the pond liner and then covering that as the rocks. The tricky thing though was the light. The light source matters. Different lights are gonna give different re reflections and a lot of them are not very dynamic. So it was a long search. So we actually found a very specific light that's used in uh, off-roading that we rigged up with uh, my electrician. That's actually the most dynamic light source. I think at the core of most of my work, I typically think of a person uh, experiencing a sense of silence, maybe a moment where they're sort of caught off guard and they snap out of the day-to-day -day busyness and hopefully a sense of wonder and surprise as well.